Today we're going to be looking at 5.2, direct variation. Our goal for today is to write and graph an equation of direct variation. Now the vocab is for direct variation, a relationship that can be represented by a function in the form y equals k times x, where k is not equal to 0. Now the constant of variation is the coefficient in front of x, so that's the value k. So for all of these problems, we're going to be using this equation, y equals k times x. So let's look. Example number one asks you to identify a direct variation equation, and it should say and state the constant of variation. So if I look at all of these, if it's a direct variation equation, when I solve for y, it should look like this. So if I look at number 1, I have y equals, or 4y equals 8x. I'm going to solve for y. Since this is 4 times y, I would divide both sides by 4. The 4s would cancel, and I would get y equals 8 divided by 4 is 2, so I get y equals 2x. This is a direct variation equation because it's in the form y equals k times x. In this case, our k is 2. k is the constant of variation. It's the number or the coefficient in front of your x value. So if I look at number 2, I would first solve for y. So I'm going to minus 4x. I get 3y equals 9 minus 4x and I would divide everything by 3. If I divide by 3, I get y equals 3 minus 4 thirds x. Now this is not a direct variation equation because we have a constant value. Direct variation is just y equals k times x. We say that we also have a positive 3 so it is not direct variation. So then 3. This one, if I want to solve for y, this is 7 times y. So I would do the opposite and I would divide. So I get y equals 2 divided by 7 doesn't go in evenly. I'm going to leave it in fraction form. So I have y equals 2 sevenths times x. This is a direct variation equation because, again, it's in this form. It's y equals k times x. My k in this case, or my value in front of x, is 2 sevenths. So this is how we identify a direct variation equation. Now let's actually write the direct variation equation. So 1 says suppose y varies directly with x and that y equals 35 when x equals 5. What's the direct variation equation that relates x and y? And then it also asks what's the value of y when x equals 9. So the first thing I want to do is I want to write the direct variation equation. I know that direct variation is y equals k times x. Well, I have an x and a y value in my equation. It says that y equals 35 when x equals 5. So I'm going to replace the y value with 35. I'm going to replace the k value. I'm going to leave it as k because I don't know what my k is my constant, but I know that my x value is 5. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for k. So since this is k times 5, I would divide by 5. Sorry, my 35 looks messed up. But it's 35 divided by 5, which is 7. So I know that my constant, or my k value, is 7. Now, that's not the equation. It says what direct variation equation relates x and y. Now that I know that my k is 7, my equation is y equals 7x. 
That's how x and y relate. Think about it. When x is 5 and y is 35, 7 times 5 is 35. So this is my direct variation equation. Now what's the value of y when x equals 9? I take my direct variation equation and I plug in 9 for x. Now 7 times 9 is 63. So my value of y is 63 when x equals 9. So let's look at example number 2. Suppose y varies directly with x and y equals 40 when x equals 8. What direct vari equation, variation equation relates x and y? So the first thing is my direct variation equation is in the form y equals k times x. In order to actually get our equation, we need to know what the k value is. The way I do this is using this information that y equals 40 when x equals 8. I'm going to replace the y with 40. I'm going to replace the x with 8 so I can figure out what my constant is, my constant of variation. So I divide by 8, and I get that k equals 5. So that means that my constant of variation is 5, my k value. So my direct variation equation is y equals 5 Now, it says, what is the value of y when x equals 12? So I'm going to take this direct variation equation, and I'm going to replace the x with 12. And 5 times 12 is 60. So let's look at an example in context. It says, suppose 15 US dollars is worth about 150 Mexican pesos. What is an equation that relates U.S. dollars X to Mexican pesos Y? What's the graph of the equation? We're going to hold off on the graph of the equation. We'll worry about that in class. But what's an equation that relates X to Y? So it's asking for a direct variation equation. It's telling me that X represents U.S. dollars, Y represents Mexican pesos. We know that when we have 15 U.S. dollars, it's 150 Mexican pesos. So I have an ordered pair. When my X is 15, my Y is 150. I can use that information to write my equation to figure out what my K value should be. So I would replace the Y with 150. I would replace the X with 15 and I would solve for k. 150 divided by 15 is 10. So my k value is 10. So the equation is y equals 10 times x. All right, so that was writing an equation from direct variation in a real life example. Now, direct variation, the thing is, is since it is just y equals k times x, right, every direct variation graph is going to go through the origin. So it's going to go through 0, 0. Okay. All right. So last thing, example 4. Write the direct variation equation from a table if y varies directly with x. So just like the other problems, I have to figure out what my k value is. Since I know that it varies directly, what I could do is use any of these table values, plug them in for x and y. So I could use 2, 5, I could use 6, 15, I could use 10, 25, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use when x equals 2, y equals 5. So that's what I'm plugging in. My y is 5. My x is 2, so I'm going to solve for k. I divide by 2, and I get that k equals 5 halves. So my direct variation equation is y equals 5 halves times x. 
So one more. Let's look at number two. How about I use three and 10? So my x equals three when my y equals 10. My direct variation equation, like I said, is y equals k times x. So the y is 10, the x is three. I solve for k by dividing by three. 10 over three doesn't divide e evenly and I can't simplify it, so it's just 10 thirds. So my equation is y equals 10 thirds x. Now that was solving direct variation equations. We'll talk about graphing them tomorrow in class. Make sure you fill out the Google form, and I will see you guys tomorrow.